I guess you are still under quarantine. Let's get creative and photograph a beer bottle. How can we do this? Let's figure that out today in the studio. Hello there, my name is Alex Silva and today I'd like to share with you how I'm keeping creative during this quarantine with this series of videos in which I'm shooting different kinds of day-to-day -day objects using either DIY lighting or hot shoe flashes. Today, in particular, we're going to shoot a beer bottle. But unlike other uh, glass objects, I want to make sure that I show the silhouette of the bottle as a light silhouette over a dark background. And I want to see just a tiny bit of the brand. Hmm. How can we do this? It's actually pretty simple. We're going to start by placing one of these lights with its homemade diffuser. In, um, I'm going to place this on a chair. And then in front of it, I'm going to place, uh, well, on either side of the lights, I'm going to, to place light stands, but you can use any other support. Then I placed some power cord in between them and I hung uh, some uh, um, tissue paper in between them. So that is going to be um, my light source. And it's going to be pretty diffused because this already has a diffuser and the tissue paper is going to diffuse the light even more. But then I'm going to place where I placed a V-flat, a small V-flat that I made using some foam board. And I placed it right in front of my uh, light source. The end result of this is that I'm going to have a large uh, square-like um, light source, but then I'm going because I've, I'm placing this uh, V-flat in front of it, my light source is now in the form of an arch. This is going to allow me to, uh, to have only a silhouette of the bottle because now the bottle is going to be in front of that arch of light. I took a, a shot, a test shot, and then I started playing with the parameters. In order for this to work out using continuous light, I needed to work in a dark room with all the windows and doors shut. Uh, so the only light source that my camera was working with was my original uh, diffusing light. The one parameter I did not want to change was the lens aperture. I wanted to work with f5.6. This way, the only thing that was going to be in focus was the bottle and, not the, and I wouldn't be able to focus on the background. I was also using my Fujifilm X-T2 with the 56 millimeter lens. If you have a kit lens, you just set it to 55 millimeters, or if you have a full frame camera, you can use something close to 85 millimeters. Whatever works for you. The, the main point is that I'm going to only frame, of course, the bottle, but I only want to frame the V flat. I don't want any of the light in my frame. I then uh, played with the parameters, with the ISO and shutter speed, so that the image was just a tiny bit underexposed and took a shot. As you can see, we can see the silhouette really nice and we can see just a tiny bit of the logo of the, of the, or the brand. In order for me to show a bit more of the brand, I added a piece of uh, foam board. I placed a piece of foam board um, right on top of the, of the camera's lens. 
This way, some of the light that is coming to the camera was, uh, was bouncing off the foam board and lighting, um, lighting the bottle just a bit. Took another shot. And there you have it. We now have a nice silhouette of the bottle and we can see the brand on the bottle. Can you do this with flash? Of course you can. In order to do this, I open all the curtains, the doors and everything and change my parameters to what I usually use with flash, which is uh, ISO 100, f5.6 and a shutter speed of 1 to 50th of a second. Then, uh, well, of course, I placed my X1T transmitter on top of my camera and then replaced all my light source with a softbox, a, a 60 by 90 centimeter softbox with a flash inside. Uh, in this case, it was a Godox TT685. And the, the scheme is more or less the, the same. You have a light source, the uh, V flat, the beer bottle, and then the camera. Started play, playing with the uh, flash power and then I had a nice silhouette of the bottle. I added the foam board piece again in order to make the reflection and that was it. I created the same effect, this time using flash. As you can see, you now have two ways to photograph a beer bottle or a dark glass bottle, if you will, shooting uh, or showing the silhouette and you can do this with continuous light or flash. I really hope you found this video interesting, informative, but also entertaining. If that is the case, please press the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel. And of course, you can share this video with your friends. But most of all, please remember to stay safe, keep learning and keep creating. And I'll see you in the next video.